What is DECA? DECA is an association of marketing students. But we're more than just a club. We're a family. DECA requires confidence, intelligence, a good sense of humor, and maturity. DECA can go from being extremely fun to being incredibly serious. Take a look. Why do you love DECA? Because I'm not a superhero. Why do I love DECA? Because I get to meet lots of people. Networking. Why? To get to meet you all. Because I love you. Great camera woman. What? I love meeting new people. They like meeting new people? Yes, I like meeting new people as well. I like DECA because it's a good way to interact with other people. We love our teacher. Because Tammy Bell's our advisor. Woo! The best advisor ever. Yeah. Nice. Well, the advisor. Boyfriend, my leader. The girls. The girls. Take a boy. This is awesome. Are you awesome? Competition. You like so much fun. Yeah. And yeah. Oh. Like it's a good it's learning so experience. Why are you doing education? Um, it's a great organization. It teaches about more people and different fundamentals. Yeah. About selling techniques. So. It teaches you stuff about marketing and all that. Hopefully because it's going to give me scholarship money. I love DECA because it prepares me for the marketing world. I like DECA because it's really fun and we do lots of business stuff. It's just a great experience and I really enjoy the role play. And the role play. Role yeah. Play. Why do you love DECA? I mean, because it's the best time. The best time ever. Yeah. yeah. Come to the conferences, meet all these people, high energy sessions. Not at school, I mean, really, you have the option of being in class and going like this. Where would you rather be? Across from the mall or in class? Calculus conference. So, what's competition like? So, competition is a mix of role plays and your test score. You take a test and a specialized category of marketing like sports or financial services and then the other half of your score comes from your role plays where you're presented with a, a problem like such as you have to come up with an advertising campaign for a, a new product or how to fix your customer relations in your business and um, you use all the knowledge that Ms. Speckman and all the marketing teachers have taught you. It's all about presenting yourself in the really professional and very mature and adult-like way. And um, if you do well on your test score, and you do well on your role play, you do end up doing really, really well in regionals and even better at state competition. What about DECA makes you smile? DECA has been an amazing experience for me. Uh, sadly, I didn't join until my 11th grade year, and I wish I had joined sooner um, because it's just been such a fantastic experience. Um, uh, I've, I came into DECA um, not really knowing what I was doing, um, not really knowing anything about marketing at all, but um, I started studying and I started um, just making friends with people who did know more than I did. And uh, they helped me get through it, and it helped me eventually. And then my senior year in DECA was fantastic. I ended up winning at district, and then I moved on to states. And uh, with the help of everyone that was in DECA, I eventually got third place in state, which put me in nationals, which has so far just been in fantastic, again, I'm going to say fantastic experience. I mean, we climbed a mountain today. We climbed a mountain. That that in itself is a extraordinary feat. So yeah, we did. <laughs> everything is just it's been such an amazing experience. So I definitely recommend it. During DECA, there's never a dull moment. When you open the door to DECA, you never know what kind of craziness lies ahead. Let's take a peek into the madness of DECA. Students all across North Carolina are preparing for massive butt 
dancing. <laughs> Look through the eyes of a DECA member to see what it's like to travel down the road to success. Well, winning is pretty good. It makes you feel good. It lets you know that you're better than the people you beat. Because second place is the first place loser. I don't win often, but when I do, I choose DECA. Choose wisely. Winning is like a payoff for the whole, all the hard work you have. And um, gives you a good reason to keep pushing to be your best. Because, like I said, winning means you're better than all the people you beat. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. Take a shot at Deca. I'm not really cocky. Honestly, <laughs> 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 I'm just confident. <laughs> just confident. Confidence is the best preparation. It matters not whether you win or lose. What matters is whether I win or lose. I'm Jacob Hill and I approve this message. <laughs> so far, Nationals has been really, really cool. And it's a great experience and an honor to be here. And hopefully the week goes by really well. Oh, I like business. The time makes me feel pretty. <laughs> so I took my first marketing class with Miss Galloway last semester. And I loved it. Um, I wish I would have taken a marketing class last year. This is my sophomore year. And I've learned so much. I use marketing and business vocabulary all the time. My friends seriously tell me, Brianna, be quiet. No one cares about bad customer service anymore. <laughs> um, but I got first place in the district competition for DECA. And it just, it made me so excited to be part of this program. I still go and talk to Miss Galloway during school and just talk to her about it. And they're, they're very encouraging and they're really there to help you. And Miss Galloway is just a really great teacher and she makes things interesting. So I was really glad to be in her class. States was a blast. Seriously, the dance was about the best part. I had no idea what to expect. Like it was my first like deca trip away and I wish it would have been longer. Um, we spent like all day at the mall and the competition was a lot of fun. The role play it really stressed me out to begin with, but it was a great experience and I'm really looking forward to next year. And now at nationals uh, we just got here today, and it's really exciting, and we're in Utah, and I'm so excited! <laughs> we just got to Salt Lake City, Utah, and we are here to compete in the national competition, and none of this would be possible without our awesome advisor, Ms. Speckman. She has helped all of the DECA members so much because she's just there for you whenever you need it. Like, can go, I'm freaking out about my competition, and she really just sits you down and just, just tells you to calm down and that your competition will be fine. Um, she puts a lot of heart into working with this organization and her students, and she considers them her second family, and a lot of students consider her their second mother. All of our advisors, Ms. Galloway, Ms. Winfrey, and Mrs. Speckman, they're all so phenomenal. They'll drop whatever they're doing just to help you. They care more about you than you will ever realize. West Brunswick High School's DECA chapter would like to thank them as a whole. Advisors, we love you. Thank you so much. You guys really are the greatest. We couldn't have asked for a better year at DECA. Thank you. One major thing to pay attention to is not worrying about your test score because a lot of kids go into it not really knowing much of anything. It's really the role play. And one key factor is making your judges remember you. You want to do something memorable. 
we had students in the past do British accents and were like, <laughs> Juliana and I created our own little PowerPoint presentation and we made it to nationals with that. So you just really want to do anything so that they don't forget you. Um, another important thing is to just remain confident and keep a professional aura about yourself. N even if you don't know the answer, pretend you know the answer. If you pretend that you're right, some of the judges don't even know, and they're going to be like, oh wow, this kid really knows what they're talking about, and you could just be making everything up as you go along. So just major thing is don't stress. So you saw all the craziness that went on during district and state competition? Yeah, well, that didn't stop at nationals either. Give me a second, I, I need to get my story straight. My friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State. My lover, she is waiting for me just across the bar. My seat's been taken by some sunglasses, asking about a scar. And I know I gave it to you months ago I know you're trying to forget But between the drinks and subtle things The holes in my apologies You know, I'm trying hard to take it back So if by the time the bar closes And you feel like falling down I'll carry you home Tonight
car closes and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home tonight.